Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about why it's important that you be reapplying your sunscreen. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Andrea. I am a board certified dermatologist and I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the thumbs up. It really helps my videos out a lot. All right, if you've ever used a sunscreen, you may have noticed on the instructions, it tells you to reapply the sunscreen every two hours if you're gonna be outdoors. Why the heck would they recommend that? Are they just trying to get you to buy more sunscreen? No, they're not. It is actually important that you reapply sunscreen and there are multiple reasons for that. First reason is that people actually don't apply enough sunscreen to begin with. Um, it's actually very difficult to apply the right amount of sunscreen and that matters because under applying sunscreen results in inadequate sun protection. Most people apply 20, maybe 50% of the amount of sunscreen that they need to achieve that actual SPF, that sun protective factor that is written on the bottle. Uh, so for example, if you have a sunscreen that is SPF 30, the way most people apply it, they're only getting about SPF four or five. Additionally, most people uh, skip a lot of areas for example, people tend to skip their eyes, they may skip the sides of their face, uh, the neck, the ears, these are common areas that are skipped, especially on initial application of sunscreen. So we recommend that you reapply sunscreen because putting on an additional layer, it helps compensate for that under application. That's really important in the situation where you're going to be outdoors. Uh, old school recommendations were always to apply a liberal amount but in reality, people don't like applying a liberal amount. It doesn't feel good, it's sticky, and they under apply it to begin with. That is the reality of it. So applying multiple layers throughout the day really helps get you that protection on board that you need. Studies clearly demonstrate the benefit of reapplying sunscreen for ensuring good UV protection. An initial application of SPF 15 at half the recommended uh, amount, which is actually consistent with what most people do, most people never apply the proper amount. So a study looked at applying an initial, uh, initial amount of one milligram per centimeter square, that's half of what is recommended, um, of an SPF 15 sunscreen. They showed that when that sunscreen was reapplied, it resulted in two to three times less uh, sun exposure in comparison to just one application. So by reapplying sunscreen, you are compensating for just basically inadequate amounts. Reapplying sunscreen is very important because the skin, you know, it's not a flat structure. It's a 3D structure. Applying just one application, especially the way most people do it, a very thin film, so inadequate, really what that ends up doing is uh, covering just the, the grooves and instead the ridges of the skin end up being exposed, the epidermal markings. But getting a second layer on will actually start to cover those, those epidermal markings so you get proper protection. So you really actually need more than one layer to genuinely protect the skin properly. Sunscreen also needs to be reapplied because it comes off. As we go about our day, its substantivity decreases. Once it is applied, um, its substantivity, meaning how well it stays on the skin, it starts to decline. It's gonna rub off with sweat, with water, with friction, with your clothing. Uh, you know, if you, you're wearing shorts and you've got sunscreen on your legs, just the brushing of the fabrics, it's gonna start wearing off the sunscreen there. Uh, you know, as you touch your skin, it's gonna come off. So it does come off and people will come out like, I am sitting and I'm not sweating or in water, so do I need to reapply? Yes, you do perspire to some extent while you may not be dripping sweat. I mean, we all perspire at some basal level as part of just day-to-day -day fluid exchange and that contributes to wearing off of the sunscreen. Uh, so you do need to reapply for that reason. Uh, it's gonna come off, not to mention just with touching the skin, it's going to come off. And as it does, you start to lose that, that protection. I know there are sunscreens out there that make the marketing claim that you do not need to reapply them, that they're 
Industry studies show that the sunscreen is durable for eight hours and they claim that you don't need to reapply them. They may make the claim that you don't need to reapply them and that is false because I mean, you, you will, the sunscreen will rub off even if they're, you know, uh, industry studies suggest that it provides a durable film. What you're telling me that I can't, like, I can't wash it off or rub it off. Like if, if I came in contact with water, it wouldn't come off. That makes zero sense. Like, so how do, how do I get it off then? Uh, is it just gonna stay on my skin forever? These claims that these companies make that you don't need to reapply their sunscreen, not only is it like bogus, like what, you're telling me that the sunscreen never comes off? Like what? You mean if I, you know, brush up against something, I'm not removing some sunscreen? But the main reason why that marketing is particularly problematic is because, as I said at the beginning, your first application is, in, is, is not adequate. It's a base coat. It's like, it's like painting a wall. You're gonna do multiple coats. So a sunscreen manufacturer that tells you that you do not re need to reapply their sunscreen is basically setting you up for failure because you're not gonna apply the amount needed to achieve the SPF stated on the bottle. People don't apply sunscreen that way. It's not comfortable to do so. And as I said, you need to put multiple layers on because of the 3D nature of, of the skin. With just one layer, you're only going to get the sulci, you're not gonna get the, you're not gonna get the epidermal markings. So you, that's why you need to reapply. So those are the reasons why you need to reapply sunscreen every two hours while you're outdoors. And because while you're outdoors, you are at risk for a burn. A burn is a UVB mediated event and it is very dangerous to the skin, um, but you're at, much, you're at risk for much more than just the burn. Uh, the other part of UV exposure from the sun is something that doesn't necessarily burn your skin, but really contributes to a lot of damage in the skin and skin cancer, as well as aging, and that is UVA. Um, so that is another reason to reapply your, your sunscreen. The reason I am telling you guys all this stuff is because you don't want to make the same mistakes that people in the past made. Uh, you know, a lot of people will try and make the claim that, oh, well, since we have started having sunscreens, the rate of skin can the incidence of skin cancers went up. So clearly sunscreen causes skin cancer. No. What ended up happening is that when sunscreens first came on the market, people put them on, they didn't reapply them. They stayed out too long. They got too much sun exposure. Um, and given what I just told you about how people don't apply enough, and plus back then the sunscreens didn't have great UVA protection, uh, all of those things together came together to result in more, likely more skin cancers because people didn't do it right and they stayed out too long and got too much sun exposure. So that is why if you are gonna be outdoors, it's really important that you reapply the sunscreen to make up for the fact that you didn't apply enough to begin with, uh, and to make up for the fact that it rubs off. It's very important. In fact, many people argue that it's better to inform consumers that rather than telling them reapply every two hours, to suggest that about 30 minutes into sun exposure, you reapply sunscreen. Um, and that has been suggested because of that initial underhanded application. And when I say underhanded application, I'm not trying to make people feel bad about how they apply sunscreen like, oh, you're just not good enough. I mean, it's very difficult to get to the level on the skin that is necessary to achieve that SPF. You need multiple coats and people often skip areas like around the eyes, reapplying multiple layers, it gets you closer to the right amount. While wearing sunscreen is super important and reapplying it is super important to get you to the correct amount and to compensate for it rubbing off, you should never rely exclusively on sunscreen for your sun protection. It is merely only one piece in a total sun protective package. You also should be wearing a broad brimmed hat, long sleeves, and not staying out in the sun too long. I mean, if you are outdoors and all you have is sunscreen and that is all, and you're staying out there all day, you're gonna to get too much ultraviolet radiation. It's gonna generate a lot of free radical damage in the skin. It's gonna cause a lot of DNA mutations. The UVA amounts that you are exposed to when you are outside are so high. I mean, it can generate a lot of damage in the skin, even, even on a cloudy day. 
Um, so it's very important that while you're outside, you reapply sunscreen and you rely on other things like hats, gloves, um, long sleeves, an umbrella. It really needs to be it really needs to be multiple things. And again, not staying out too long. You don't want to make the same mistakes that people made in the 50s where they were like, oh cool, I've got I've got sunscreen, so I'm gonna put it on and I'm good. And they never reapplied it and they stayed out too long, they got burnt. I mean, we learned what went wrong back then. Let's not make those same mistakes again. Any sunscreen that makes the claim that you do not need to reapply it, that is actually pretty dangerous marketing in my opinion, because while they may have a sunscreen product that has good substantivity, meaning it stays on the skin very well, remember the issues at hand are the fact that people have a difficult time getting to the correct amount to achieve the stated SPF, so they're going to have a much lower SPF. People are going to have skip areas. People are not going, people are going to, on first application, they're not going to, they're not gonna cover the skin in its entirety because it's a 3D structure. You're gonna have the, you know, the epidermal markings are gonna be re-exposed. The purpose of reapplying and reapplying throughout the day is just, you know, continue to, continue to put more on to keep protecting your skin. So any sunscreen that makes the claim that you just need one application of their SPF 30 and you don't need to reapply it is telling you that basically, oh, here, go on out with an SPF of five all over your skin, missing areas, having your epidermal markings exposed, and you're good to go. I find that very dangerous marketing and I don't, I don't recommend falling for it. It doesn't mean that their sunscreens are bad, uh, brands that make that claim. It just means that you shouldn't fall for that. Um, it can be problematic, especially when you are participating in outdoor activities like swimming, uh, always reapply after you get out of the water. Uh, and anytime you towel dry the skin, again, that's gonna remove sunscreen. Uh, if you are participating in sports, if you're just laying on a blanket in the shade having a picnic yeah that is a lot of uv exposure and you don't want to just rely on one solitary coat of spf 30. Uh, that is a setup for a lot of uv damage that can put you at risk for skin cancer i hope this video was helpful for you guys and if you liked it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye